Hi, a little scientist. Today, I told you that we were going to talk about putting the chrysalises in the habitat. So I have the habitat right here. It's very thin net because it has holes in it so that the air can get through so the butterflies can what? Breathe, yes. Now, on my tray over here, let me pull it to the front. We have chrysalises. Every single one is a chrysalis. Um, even this one is a chrysalis, it fell. Now, the thing, information I found on the internet says if one falls, we can gently place it on the ground in here. So we'll try that. But the rest of these are all attached to the top with what? What do they make? Silk. And that silk is very sticky and strong and helps them stick to the top. Now I'm going to show you what we do. Ready? Let me get all my materials. So I have these little Velcro sticky things. These are going to be used to stick them to the side. I'm going to show you. I have a paintbrush, but we're not going to paint with this. You'll see what this is for. And then in here, I'm going to open it up. Okay, you can see the chrysalis. Now, when we pull it out, the web, remember the little webbing it made for protection? It's when it was a caterpillar. That's all stuck. You see it? Now, what you have to do. When it emerges, we don't want the butterfly to get stuck in that stuff. So what, what we do with the paintbrush is we take the brush and we gently remove all that sticky stuff on the paintbrush. And we pull it off. Well, it takes me a second, so just be patient. I'm rolling it up. Okay, and now it's all in one ball for me to take off. See, it's all stuck to the paintbrush. Now, there's no web around the chrysalis. Now you see how good it holds on to the top with its silk? Then we hold it like this, and now look, you can see where the chrysalis is just hanging there on the lid. Isn't that amazing? Now. Now what I do is I take my little Velcro pieces. They're sticky on one side. I'm going to take one off. Whoops. And I put it on this outside part back here. And we stick it to it. Sticks really good. See? Now I'm going to put this down for a minute. I take off my next one. And I'm going to open the habitat. I'm actually going to do one right down here. So I'm going to open the habitat. Okay. I'm going to take this piece. I'm going to reach in here. Can you see that? And I'm putting that sticky thing, the little Velcro, right there. I take this one and I click it. And now that lid stays on. And now, do you see? The butterfly will emerge safely. And the lid, I can just take them off when we're done. But then when the butterfly emerges, it will have a nice habitat. It can fly up and down for a little bit. We can put some sticks in here. We'll go get some sticks to put in here. Um, and some um, flowers, because maybe it'll want to get the nectar out of the flowers. So Miss Thompson has a lot of work to do because I have to go back through and do all of these other chrysalises and get them all in here. When I'm done, I'll take a picture and we'll count and see how many chrysalises we have. And I'll make sure to get them all in there very safely. I already did one earlier today to see if I could make sure I knew how to do it before I did the video. Do you see right there? So these are all safe right now. And so now we wait for about 10 days till the butterflies emerge and we'll have to see what happens. All right, once I get them all in here, we'll do another um, observation of the chrysalises in the habitat. All right, scientist, good job, bye.